lower mechanics. What have we? Lights. ABC. Lots of levers. Oh, wow. Negative numbers, positive numbers. The last one is a two instead of a three. All right, these are control panels. We got A's, B's, and C's, and let's go look at some other stuff before we mess with that. A prism, splitting the light into its colors. Isaac Newton would be proud. Oh yeah. These are the lower levels of the mechanics. It was here I learned that all the attributes of the different minerals could be harnessed by dividing the energy beam of the white crystal. Whoa. The shortage of crystalline materials no longer hindered my work. With this knowledge, I was even able to isolate green crystal beams. The exact mm. same energy ray that the ancient gateways use. This could suggest that there is a connection between this world and the origin of the ancient gateways. Focusing on my work helped me deal with the unbearable loneliness that started to consume my mind. I don't know. I don't. I don't think it would be a good idea to destroy this world, knowing that. So we can, we can get all the powers of the crystals by diffracting the white, not diffracting, refracting the white beams, the white crystals light. Truth conquers all. Yeah, this seems too, like, connected with all the other worlds to destroy. It's like, if this is where the stuff came from that built the portals, like, if we destroy this world, will all the portals stop functioning? Maybe not, but, you know, we wouldn't be able to build any more portals. Unless, of course, we found another world like this, you know, with a spaceship or something. You know, if something happens once in the universe, it's probably going to happen a whole bunch of other times, too. Alright, I don't have a combination here. Let's try 47, 11, 51, 73. How awesome would it be if that were right? Okay, what have we? This room, I guess, will, I assume, will probably take up the rest of our episode. Alright, I've been around in a circle. I've seen probably everything there is to see. Time to start messing with the controls. I guess there's still stuff up there, probably where we're trying to get to. Ah, uh, yes, he did say lower room of the mechanics. Okay, I see. I would have thought, no, no. There's no way, though. This map doesn't make any sense. We are way too low for this to be right under the mechanics. We went down the lighthouse, and then we went down an elevator, and then we went down pathways. And you're trying to tell me the mechanics is right up there? No way, that makes zero spatial sense. Alright, so. What shall we do here? Let's start by looking at the simplest one. I think an item belongs there. Still have this. Did we even use this? Could I have missed this? That's kind of disturbing to think about. It's like, are there other items I could have missed? Also, this jug. We brought with us a jug. So it feels like we could have missed that jug and not been able to come down. It must be the one that was already on the tray that we put the other five jugs on. So that would ensure that we have to pick it up in order to solve the puzzle. Lever. Let's go A, B. Oh no, this isn't... This isn't B and C, it's just... It's yellow and white. That did nothing! Alright, this might be a puzzle we can solve. Start. Um... 
Okay, is this the same... Is this the same puzzles we had up on top? No. This one has two rings each time. So we've got the outer two. Middle inner. Middle outer. And the inner two. Okay. So... This is two for two, right? It's two on each of them. So let's align. Let's start by aligning these two by doing this one. Um, actually, I don't. I don't know how to change anything. So we need to get. We need to move them. We need to figure out how to move things. Oh. Okay, well, let's just start it up to see what happens. Um, do I need to fill it up in order to start it? Okay, I'm guessing... Ah, uh, I think I know what's going to happen. So, we put in these, and it's going to turn... One of the positive or negative is clockwise or counterclockwise. And when we press this, it's going to turn all of them, all the different combinations, this many times. Yeah. Or, or maybe just that one. Oh, no, it probably turned all of them at once. I wasn't looking. Reset. Okay, yeah, it turned all, every single one of them. Okay, so this is going to take some doing. And you, we can't repeat any of them. <laughs> um, okay, I don't, doesn't worry, don't worry, I don't have to reset. So I just need to figure out how many times we need to turn it. So this is the outer two. This is the inner two. Outer middle. Inner middle. Okay, so... Can we avoid turning any of them? We could... What if we avoided turning it, turning the, the middle inner? Or the, the, this one. The one that's highlighted that's not the outer. So we'd avoid this one and this one. Okay, what this being here tells us is that this one and this one have to be opposite numbers. Also, this is a two and not a three, which suggests that there have to be two twos in the solution. So, it does diagonals, right? I think it does diagonals. So this one has to, let's just say that this one is two, which means this one is minus two. And uh, let's see what happens. All right. So, um, minus two is the only one that moves. So, negative is counterclockwise. All right. So that one, is, if that one is minus two, then okay. Which one? Which other one turned? This one turned two, and this one turned minus three. So. It two, okay. It must be. It must be only four quadrants round. So if we do this one as zero, then this one should turn all the way around. Yep. See now it's down here. All right. So four would be the maximum. All right. So minus three is the same as one. Okay, let's reset. Wait, can I do it more than once? No, okay. Wait. This says one and this says two, so... 
Oh, I don't I don't have to I don't have to line them up here. I have to line them up here and here. Okay, that changes things. All right, so the inner one has to be opposite this. All right, let's do that. Uh, we used up all of our twos. There we go, we've got ourselves a two. So now this one will hop back here. Okay, now this one will also go there, as long as we have it on zero, which means that Okay, so if this one is minus two, the inner one will go all the way up, and now it's two, so the inner one goes all the way back down, but this one also goes there. So, what's the other one that has the second inner ring? This one has to be zero. And now let's see what this gets us. Yep, exactly what I just expected. We got these two in here. So then, next, the outer two, which I think that's the only one left, has to be one. I gotta reset before I can do it. Here we go. Oh. Minus one? Yeah! I feel smart! I feel smart doing that. Ha <laughs> ha I don't know what this does yet. We will look at other stuff and come back and find out. Am I gonna get a prism? I hope I get a prism. That'd be cool. We're in the lower mechanics. Is this the same room we were in before? Or is this the... Yeah, this is the same device we were in before. So we shouldn't have to solve this again. This thing. This thing, which is also these, I think, is the device that is in... I don't know, it's letters. It's a device that's in this one. This device. I don't know if that's important, but yeah. Is there anything to do in here? Is there any reason to solve this? I mean, there would have to be, right? Anywhere to put an item? Ah! Haha! <laughs> I noticed last time I was here that there was a, a slot, a, an item prompt. But we didn't have any item to put in. And then I forgot about it. What did that do? Did it turn on something on the other side? Alright, now it's time to go to the other side. Alright! Let us... Reset. So, this can't be as simple as just reversing everything, can it? No. Because now we need the opposite one to be on. We need them to be on top. Okay. So, let's switch the two and minus two for the second inner one. So, for this one, we'll have that be two. Now, let's see what happens. All right, now this this one and the outer one are correct, so don't touch anything that has the second inner and the outer. This one needs to be, would need to be two, I think. Zero. Yeah! Ha ha ha! Because two and negative two... Oh! Two and negative two bring it to the same place. So instead of doing two and negative two, I could have also done two and two. Huh. This is broken. I mean, by broken, I mean boarded up. This is boarded up. I gotta unboard it. Somehow. Did I do that? Hmm. Hmm. Did I not pay attention on the other side? 
all. Can't see through very well. There's a slat right in my face. And go underneath. I miss anything underneath? Is this the way in? That's the the safe. I haven't learned a safe code. Well, maybe maybe the the note inside here on the first side can give me a hint. Can't get in again yet. Is there anywhere to slot an item in here? Oh. Have I not gone up here? <laughs> okay. Well, can't get up there yet. Oh, this game just gets cooler and cooler. I pick up things, open drawers. Items, no items. Just observing that a white light through a prism splits all its powers. Don't touch the red beam. Is there anywhere to place anything? Oh yeah, I can still do this stuff. Also, it definitely looks like I need an item to put in here. Just went through, you never know. White. Go. Be white. Go. Be orange. Go. See orange. Go. Okay. Sure. Yeah, I believe that. <laughs> okay, okay, so... It could have been C orange or C white. Those would have both worked, I guess. Because here, this empty space, now I could do B white or B orange. And we're going to be rearranging stuff down here, I guess. Like, I can pull something, pull something else into that spot, I think. I'm going to look and see if anything happened. Can I walk over here? Is there anything to see? No. What about if I go up here? Can I get through? No. Okay. So, this spot here is B. And B is currently empty. So, let us do white to B. Alright, yeah, just bring down the next floor. Sure. <laughs> And then I can, I can do orange to A. A being up in the ceiling. Alright, alright. But I can't get in, or can I? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Never mind. Alright, now I can walk upstairs, but I probably can't get any farther if I have my guess. Oh, all this familiar stuff. It's not an item holder anymore. Anything new on here? Probably not. So we can walk up here to the next level. Or no, I guess, uh, yeah. We get ourselves an item. This, this was presumably here the whole time. <laughs> whole time in this building. Wait, no, no, this is down here. Never mind. So, yeah. So this was actually below the building the whole time. All right, gate's open now. So it did allow us to get up there, just not the same way that I was thinking. So we have... Where's the way out? Okay. So we have... Um, we can't get into the other side from down here, but maybe we can get into the other side from up there. Let's leave it as it is and see if we can get in. Oh, this is cool. And then there might be something to find if we climb up this one wall up here. Alright, we got ourselves some levers. Oh, we need to find more of these and a combination. 
And then here's our last piece. Alright. So this we got by solving the other side of that. Okay. And because I'm a little paranoid, I'm gonna pause the recording and make sure it's doing it properly. Alright, it's fine. I wonder if in episode 12 it got corrupted by me copying it too soon or something. I don't know. So I need to find one more of these, and I have a guess where it is. Oh wait, look! A button. What just happened? Oh. Oh, this is... This is the last thing I need. Huh. Is this changing it? All right, can I grab it from here? No, it's putting it there. I can almost see it. Huh. Is there a way, I wonder? To like... Hmm. Okay, I was gonna say, is there a way to turn these things and then get in from a different angle and then grab it? But what I think I need to do is I think I need to bring that one up. So let's go ahead and do that. Orange to A. And now we need white to C. Let's go! <laughs> Alright, and I think that's open on the side, so we should be able to just reach right out of it. Yeah, I need to push the button again, because it didn't want to stay. Take you. You're welcome. I mean... I guess you're the one who says you're welcome to me. It looks like there's nothing up here, but I'm walking up just in case. Nope, oh, just stone. Okay, now I wonder if this has anything to do with our solution here, because there's five of these and there's five dials. Uh can't change it. Is it just slots? We have to rig the slots. Let's just play it until we get the right answer. Oh. Time to crack the safe. 46, 11, 37, 77. Oh, okay. I, th I was joking. I was honestly joking. I was just like, I, that was gonna be the last time I did it and I was gonna look around for something else. <laughs> was that, uh, why, why was that there? Obviously the developers wanted a joke, but in-game, what's the reason for having a slot machine give us the answer? Sometimes if you try the same thing over and over again, you get the right answer? Just have to keep trying. It's nice and contrasty. 46, 11, 37, 77. See, this one you, you spin around. 11. 37? Forgot. 37. Eh. Hope that didn't count. 77. Um. Did I get it wrong? 46, 11, 37, 77. Just 
than you a couple times. Go to 46. That was 47. I'm not doing it right. This is so hard. Now stop at 46. 46. Eh. Eleven. Thirty-seven. Seventy. Seven. Oh. <laughs> Did the button need to be pushed in to start? 46. Oh. Oh. I line it up and push the button. That makes sense. This janky controls. 11. 37. 77, I can probably go this way. Let's get in! Yeah! Oh, at the, for a moment I, there I thought, oh, you're gonna make me do one upside down? That probably wouldn't even be hard. Ah, here we are, exactly. I thought, I thought, I knew. I knew there would be a way through here. Haha. <laughs> now what? Can't go back up. I, I assume that the surface is probably finished until the very end. Well, now what do I do? I'm just back. I need to use this at a prism? Did I get any new item? I got new knowledge, I guess. Um, oh! Oh! I bet I know what- I bet... Uh, I'm silly. I bet that drawer opened, and I bet we can get our piece. Is it open? Ah! <laughs> I'm such a silly muffin! Right, and we walk all the way back, haul ourselves an elevator up. And it had to take a really long time so it could be realistic and stuff. You know, I wouldn't mind if sometimes the time the elevator took was not so realistic in order to be short. But that's okay. Artistic consistency and whatnot. Man, I'm tired of seeing this view because I recorded it multiple times to get a good shot for the end of episode 12. <laughs> All right, and we will put this item in the slot next time. This is the third episode we've ended right here. So let's end it over here. Thank you guys very much for watching. Let me know what you thought in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more Quern and other awesome games. I'll see you next time. Bye.